I'm Sir Tapdap, and welcome to Let's Play Rudimical Dark Witch Music. And this is just the story mode, they're the story thingy, it doesn't really mean much of anything. But this is a rhythm game based on Legend of Dark Witch, you know, by the same developers. It's basically the little rhythm game from Dark Witch 2, which is a great game I can't record. I would have done a bunch of videos probably by now, but I can't record 3DS stuff. They're so expensive, the capture cards for that. So basically, we got some nations fighting some wonderful political theater. Uh, none of this matters because this is actually a rhythm game, and we just need to not miss the beats. So there's a threat to other countries, and uh, so they send the three most important people in the world. Actually, literally God, a small child, and a nerd. Who's looking for a good time? <laughs> Rudy has the best, um, well, the best portrait for one thing, and also the best motivation. She's she's just looking for a good time. Th this is part of why. I, this is the app icon. That's part of why I bought the game. I mostly just bought it because I wanted to support more Legend of Dark Witch stuff. Um, you might note this is the first time I've ever recorded a Android game or any mobile game of any kind for YouTube. It will probably also be the last because it has been a complete nightmare to attempt to record this. Um, let's just start with one of my favorite songs on Easy. Apparently if you win in normal mode, you don't get credit for beating Easy mode, unfortunately, but whatever. These songs are very short, so it's a pretty simple as far as rhythm games go. You have two inputs, tap the bottom of the screen, and I mapped it to my keyboard, but uh, you press that to hit the beats right in the uh, a particular zone, pretty much right before these green balls land. If you play Legend of Dark Witch 2, you might recognize these. These are the same objects they use in the rhythm game in that game. So they basically, they stretched it out into a full sort of mini rhythm game where we have the stage music as a boss fight for each of the bosses from the original game. And it plays out more properly like a boss fight. But uh, unfortunately, the projectiles aren't really matched to the boss. They just, you know, have this one standard kind of projectile they all fire. And they fire in time to the music, as, you know, any music game goes. In easy mode, we do not see fireballs, which are uh, the reason you need to jump. Fireballs and lasers. I think lasers must be only in lunatic mode. I haven't unlocked lunatic mode or anything yet. So like almost any rhythm game, basically you just need to never drop your combo, and that's how you're going to get your high scores. There's two variations of perfect, which is just such a rhythm game thing. You know, rhythm games are insanely brutal, and only seem to care about people who really like rhythm games, because I mean, you know, good, good is the worst non-failure state. There's just something so delightfully passive-aggressive about how rhythm games do, like, Good! Thumbs up, yeah! You stupid dumbass. <laughs> it's like... So yeah, perfect. Perfect is the only acceptable thing. Great is bad. Good is horrible. Miss is you are a complete failure of a human being. I don't know why rhythm games are so incredibly brutal. Um, it's kind of funny. The, it's probably the least accessible genre. Um, even compared to stuff like shoot 'em ups and stuff, because well, it's got the easy mode, but rhythm games they tend to gate a lot of content behind high, uh, hard difficulty, and uh, they're just not made for people who are not rhythm game junkies. It's kind of crazy. But uh, just to give you a hint at the horror, we'll play normal mode now. This is another one of my favorite tracks. A hint of the horror of recording this. I had to use blue stacks. Which is kind of garbage. And, um... Blue stacks, if I record from the same PC, aw, oh, damn it, that I am playing on, it adds little wonderful crackles into the mic audio that I cannot remove from that audio track ever. Okay, we're gonna restart. Um... Pat Upon is about the only rhythm game I can really stand for too long. Honestly. But, uh... I'm all okay with this. I'm much better on my actual phone. The 
I'm not sure if you can tell. You're getting a delightful 30 frames per second feed due to how I had to do this. Uh, the game runs on pretty flawless 60 frames per second on my Nexus 5X. Uh, it's always got a very little bit between your phones, but uh, if you have a high-end phone, this should run perfectly fine. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it, Bluestacks just somehow screws up my microphone audio, even though it doesn't use my mic that I'm aware of. I don't know how or why it does that, and I hate it a lot. And it also wants me to add, install some adware, or you know, it wants me to install its featured app every like 48 hours, or it won't let me in, or it wants me to pay. And it also unlocks some performance, so I mean, it's throttling itself because I haven't paid for it. It's like a monthly fee too, it's awful and I hate it. Then I tried Nox App Player, which seems, at first glance, to be a far superior option. But, um, its spec is locked at an extremely low-end old Android single-core device, and nothing runs right on it. And if I set the... it has a little thing where you can set your, um, hardware options. And after I reset the device, it it's, goes back to the single-core one gigabyte of everything. And I couldn't even play an even simpler game than this without major sound issues on that. So... Oh god, the mouse cursor was in the shot, wasn't it? Sorry about that. I'm not used to recording in a way that the mouse cursor is visible. I'll have to get used to that again. Um, this is an alright one. So, this game's gameplay is pretty simple. As you unlock Shenga by getting that A rank, you uh, unlock some more costumes and characters. Sola here is actually not your default character. Unlocked her just while I was practicing for this video. Uh, kind of forgot about that. You actually start with Zizu, who is actually also new to this rhythm game. Originally, you only played as Rudy. I haven't unlocked Rudy yet. I'm not entirely sure why Rudy is so tied to. I guess because of the name Rudy Mickle. They, they thought of a nice little pun there. Those pink orbs give you a heart, as you might have noticed. They seem random, and they seem tied to the boss. Like, some bosses just toss out tons of them. Some bosses don't give out many. It doesn't really matter, though. The only thing that really seems to matter is an A rank, and if you need health, you did not get an A rank. That's, again, one of those things where rhythm games are just oddly brutal, and if you're just not completely perfect, they do not consider you a human being. Oh! Okay, so that's nice. So she does have an attack that- that's one of her attacks in the main game. But generally- oh, I'm just talking. This is another reason rhythm games are hard to do for videos and stuff. I've been wanting to do a video of Patapon. Oh, that is a bad, um, cue. She points her staff up and then shoots a fireball straight. But, um, yeah, rhythm games are quite possibly the, you know, the genre most affected by needing to talk, like, I have the most problems talking while playing these. I've been meaning to do a Patapon video, and I'd have to do 100% post-commentary, because I would drop, I would be doing even worse than this with Patapon. Even though I have an easier time with Patapon, you just can't talk at all or you'll drop the beat. With this, at least I have visual cues, so I'm not really going by the beat. You know, it's sort of a mix. Ah, yeah, we gotta be. You, 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 you drop anything. Oh, hey! I was wondering if this was a thing. So now we have- we have all of the bosses. Oh yeah, Herbert and Pelusa are two of my favorite bosses from this game. They- they just feel so- especially Herbert, just feels so- like, that's a Mega Man character right there. Uh, if you haven't seen my Dark Witch videos, uh, that's the best music. So. Pelusa? Wait, no, it was Stoge? Um... Yeah, Legend of Dark Witch, it's basically cute Mega Man with some Gradius elements. Oh! This isn't your stage music. Yeah, I think her stage music is originally a remake. Or, like, reused music, so they... Where was it? It's been a while since I've looked over the music for this game. Eat everything. Good advice! Do not touch well. Also, I assume the sparkly perfects give you slightly more points. 
but it seems like they still count as a perfect. I've never really quite watched. Uh, the score going by is just nonsense to me. Ah, oh, come on! Yeah, so that's the wonderful thing about rhythm games. I pretty much probably am not going to get an A rank just for dropping that. And I wouldn't really mind the brutal difficult modes in um, rhythm games if they didn't lock content behind them. But if you want to get all the characters, you got to be on at least normal, which, or not at least normal, you know, on everything basically. I'm okay with normal here. It takes a little practice, but uh, I would just eat me alive. This is not the hardest difficulty. There's at least one more. I'm not entirely sure what all the unlocks are in this. I have not played it very much. It's a rhythm game for phone, and I don't... I barely play phone games at all, ever, and rhythm games are even worse because uh, I have to have the music, and anytime I'm using my phone to play a game, I am not somewhere where I can have music on. You know, I'm like, waiting for somebody to pick me up in a car or like, you know, in a bathroom or something. Yeah, ta. So, uh, see, that's gonna be a B, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and the weird thing is you can drop- the one thing I really don't like about how music games do the combo thing, if you have one drop, but it's like in the middle, it's gonna be completely devastating. If you have one drop in the middle or the end, or at the very beginning or the very end, so your combo count is still like high, it doesn't matter as much. And it's like, I, 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 I'm not okay with that. Like two medium length combos tend to count for nothing compared to a single extreme length combo. Even though the mistake is, it's, it's exactly as easy to make the same mistake. It just, it makes it feel random. And I see some, there's a difficulty rating here at the top. Um, I'm wondering how brutal this five star is gonna be. So we're gonna take a look at the five star. And, uh, oh wait, let's play as Zizu. Did I actually change character? I don't think I did. Oh, I did. Oh crap. I can, I can already see why it's difficult. But yeah, don't- there's one more Android game I want to play. Um, this has been an incredibly annoying, frustrating hellscape of a project to record two video games um, for Android. I'm probably never going to do this again. So if you're a mobile game, savor this moment. You have defeated me, I have played, I have suffered through the blue sax hell, I have tried Nox at player, both are garbage and I hate them, and I hate everyone involved with everything right now. Um, I just wanted to play a video game and show it off for some people, and have some fun, but they have defeated me, and oh my god. Um, holy crap. Um, yeah, that's, that's not happening. So, I have one more game I want to show. <laughs> and completely failing gets you a C, and it's like, doing pretty well, but dropping something as you be. It's so... Rhythm games are so mean! Why are they so mean? It should be like a cute, happy, fun genre. But no, it's all like, everything will crush your very soul into dust. Why is it like that? <laughs> I, I don't get why rhythm games are so hardcore. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Mouse is on screen again. Uh, that's gonna be an adjustment to get used to when uh, I'm working on a well. This is a slow one. Um, I'm working on a new method of recording stuff. Basically, just record everything through my capture card. That also means you're gonna be seeing my mouse, and I'm not used to you seeing Mr. Mouse. So I need to be aware of him again. So, so there's some nice variety of music. Game. I'm not sure if there's any of the the boss music stuff. Boss and combat music is generally my favorite on game soundtracks, actually. Nice and energetic. I tend to listen to more high energy stuff. So if you if you just mash the button, you lose health insanely fast. I think I think a missed beat. Like, a missed press is actually worse than missing a beat. They may both be pretty bad, but it takes down your health really fast. I 
Yeah, Dark Witch 2 is a really great game. I, it's not super perfect, but... And, I mean, the low budgetness shows a little bit, and some people are extremely unforgiving of low-budget games, and I do not like those people. They're not good people. Um, it, it is a very good uh, Mega man -y game. I wouldn't say it's better than the, the Mega Man Zero or ZX series, but it is definitely way better than all of the Mega Man games Capcom has released in the past since Mega Man ZX advent, which has been nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, but yeah, they're just, if you want to play Mega Man games, just go check them out. They're super cheap, too. Like, this game was like about $3. Um, the, they're even cheaper, well, and they're not actually cheaper, but relatively they're cheaper. The Dark Witch 2 is like $6, the Dark Witch 1 is like $4 on Steam. Crazy good deals, because I mean, they're full-length Mega Man style games. Uh, the original isn't super perfect, but uh, if you play it first, you'll understand how big of an improvement 2 is. The, the first one, I already did a video on it, but its main flaw is that the bosses are a lot harder than any other part of the game, and 2 fixes that. But yeah, I, I hope that Dark Witch 2 comes to PC at some point, or Vita, or literally anything I can record without a $300 capture card. Um, I already have a you know, $150 capture card to record HDMI, but that records more than just a single device. I, I really hope whatever the NX is, I can actually record it. Anyway, this is Rudy Mickle. I do recommend it if you like cute things, if you like rhythm games, if you like Mega Man things, or if you like Dark Witch. Those are all good things. Those are all good reasons to buy this. So yeah, and like I said, no, no more Android games after this and one more. I... Oh my god. I have wasted... I, I recorded a full video on this, and it's all ruined because the mic audio is messed up and I can't fix it. And there's no point in doing post-commentary because it takes just as long as re-recording. Ugh. So yeah, Android, you, have, you, you win this round, but your penance is that will never cover you ever again. Well, sorry for that negativity. I'm just so... Ugh. Bye.